Welcome back, everyone. It's time to lace up and dive into a journey that's just as magical as it is challenging. I'm Kristen, and I'm gearing up to Dare to Dopey once again. That's right, four days, four races, totaling 48.6 miles, and countless memories at the happiest place on earth. I'm not just reliving memories, I'm chasing new ones. This isn't my first rodeo with the Dopey Challenge, but this time, it's about setting the bar higher, pushing myself further, and achieving personal bests. Together, let's make every mile count leading up to January. Are you ready to run the Dopey Challenge with me? Let's lace up, train hard, and make memories that will last a lifetime. I'll see you on the course. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is week two in Dare to Dopey, and this, this is not the trail. This is not Texas. This is Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. Isn't that cool? Look at me growing as a person. Last weekend I was tubing on the lake. Now I'm at a beach by the ocean. Who am I? I don't even know. All right, this week we're gonna talk about the various plans that are gonna get us from now, or a week ago, into Dopey in 20 some odd weeks. Are you ready? Let's discuss the plans. We are 27 minutes into workout one just 45 minutes and feeling personally victimized by the sun <laughs> it's just it's where we're at right now <laughs> see anyway what I want to talk to you about is the plan that I'm using ever since I started doing run Disney I have been using the Galloway training plans and that has gotten me across every finish line that I've ever set out for. And it makes all of this, all of these workouts and long miles seem doable because you break them into your work segments, your recovery segments. And as someone who is a big believer in interval training, and interval running mentally that's the kind of plan that I have to have if you were to tell me hey guess what you're gonna start in the upcut parking lot and run 26.2 miles run a marathon around Disney property without stopping I would say no I'm not <laughs> because mentally that's I can't I can't wrap my mind around that, and my body sure as heck can't wrap itself around that. So I'm using Galloway. It's the plan that we both have used ever since we started. So many of you remember Hi guys. splints here. We're running uh, the night before I leave for the beach, which if you're watching this, you already know I'm there because I greeted you from the beach in the beginning of this video. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're gonna continue this 45 minutes and not be so concerned about the pace. What we are concerned about is the time under our feet and listening to our bodies. And not dying. <laughs> and not, very importantly, not dying. <laughs> You wanna know something funny? I mean, it is now. It wasn't when it was happening five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm surprised you couldn't hear me in the bathroom going, the lotion and the powder have made a paste. <laughs> I'm glad that you can laugh at my misfortune. Always. <laughs> you laugh at mine. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> that was a run that keeps you humble. Keeps you humble. Um, we had Hurricane Barrel. Hurricane Barrel. Uh, well, the side, we didn't get hit with it directly, but we had the wind and a lot of cloud cover this morning. And it was surprisingly really nice outside and not that humid. So that I will tell you did not carry over into 
because it's 93, where most of the day it's been in the very, very low 80s. So um, the sun wanted to be like, hey, I'm still here. <laughs> so anyway, um, back to the plan before I was so rudely interrupted by a, a very urgent need for a bathroom. Um, I know a lot of you, especially if you're watching this, are following Galloway. You're following that plan because we're all kind of in this um, together, and that's great. There are also other plans around that are great as well, like um, the first one that comes to mind is Hal Higdon, the Higdon plan. I know that that program for, you know, dopey or whatnot is a lot shorter. It's not the 20... 26 however many weeks Galloway is it's not that many um, but you are running a whole lot um, and it's not um, I know you can make any plan any plan you want uh, cater it to you but a lot of it is um, higher mileage and it doesn't kind of tiptoe you into the longer distances um, I like to equate Higdon with being taught to swim by being thrown into a lake and told, swim! That's just how I perceive I perceive that plan. That being said, though, it works for a lot of people, and um, I am not one of them. Granted, I also haven't given it a fair shot. So uh, I'm very much in the camp of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't fixed, don't fix it. Yes, if it ain't broke. I almost said if it ain't fixed, don't break it. <laughs> that too, that too. Um, anyway, so Galloway is the what I'm doing. And the way that that's going to coincide with Wine and Dine, I will allow future me to share that info with you. Okay? One more thing before I forget, because I know that y'all are wondering and you're going to ask. It's like I can read your minds or something. They're gonna be like, what is that? This is the cover for over the top of my camera. So when you see me whirling and twirling this, that's what it is. Um, it's not very heavy. It can't inflict much damage if I need it to, but you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Uh, but anyway, that's what it is. It's the cover to my camera. So when I'm not using it, I go like this. Boop. Magic. Okay, bye. Do, 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 do. Insert beach music. It's such a lovely day. I'm going to leave this in because everyone needs to hear it. <laughs>
or you cannot and just call it done. That's up to you. Last training cycle when I did Dopey, I did uh, the full wine and dine weekend, 5K, 10K, half, and then just used time on my feet and time in the parks to make the total mileage. So whatever you choose to do will be right for you. Here we have the blue heron in its natural habitat. I think it's looking at me. <laughs> if you've, okay, hold on. If you've walked with me before, you know, I don't leisurely stroll. I'm fine. Sam, Sam just learned this. How you doing? Um, I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm, a, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. We're good. I'm You're ready like to run that. dopey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here. We're like that. Um, what's that meme of that dog in a burning building? It's fine. I'm it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm We're fine. fine. We're good. Oh. <laughs> so. Sam just learned that Kristen doesn't walk slow. Kristen walks quickly. Kristen's about to be in the Olympics for speed walking. I have aspirations to running and makeup. Paris, briskly walking and makeup. No makeup today, though. Walking. <laughs> That's a great breathing technique. Thank you. I call it dog panting. <laughs> All right, y'all, that wraps up the second workout for week two. 45 minutes out here on 30A, walking alongside the ocean. Y'all, it was so cool. Sam, what did you, Sam? Sam! No. <laughs> wait, wait. Paris 2024, baby. What are I've we doing? It. We're doing wine and dine. Uh huh. But it's just Sam drinking wine. Okay. But what? <laughs> what about walking? <laughs> yeah, two two thumbs up. Kinda You're great. gonna. I'm so good. Spectate. So yes. Uh, Three point <laughs> six miles only took me an hour. Three point oh six. Three point oh six. Come on, Kristen. <laughs> are you coming with me for four miles? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But we're running that one. Absolutely not. <laughs> Bless you. Good morning, happy long run Saturday. It's workout three, which is four miles for week two. And I thought this morning that my husband and I were gonna come out and run the Florida Scenic Highway, uh, but he is not here. Uh, but I am, I can hear your husband. <laughs> Let me get my voice. Look, look who surprised me this morning. You got it on video, right? And then we have Jessica as well. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Um, I'll insert all that here, because. And I quote, why do you keep doing this to me? <laughs> it's just in my nature. Yes, it is. All right.
What'd you say? This is much better than running at home. Agreed. They say there's no place like home, but there's no place like 38. About to say they haven't been here. I've not. Or, I don't know, what would you rate this? This and Disney. Oh, uh, you already know that my heart was here. That's 1,000 my home. Because you used to live here, right? And then you moved away. Dumb decision. Can't. Mm -mm. <laughs> Start crying. Well, don't, because we're running. Right now. Now. And now. That's right. I'm not opposed to that. What's his name? Tommy. Tommy. Tommy the turtle. Yes, I do. Tommy, nice to see you again. Tommy and Tipsy. She's obviously. Tipsy lives up to her name. into four getting it done how are you doing i'm doing fantastic how are you doing i'm very warm yeah, a little hot, a little very warm this kind young man is letting us cross the street a little backstory on why that one was a surprise i just spit i'm sorry if you saw that <laughs> originally she was like oh i'll come down and run with you on your long run on uh, Saturday, and it was like, great, because it's only like a four hour drive from where she lives. But then, but then I get a message saying, it's not gonna work out, other things have come up, I'm so sorry. You can FaceTime me in your run if you want to. And I was like, okay, sounds good. Well, lo and behold, I get up this morning and go walk outside and well that that happened so uh, <laughs> I've come to learn as you should as well that my name is not Tara it's ta-da ta-da ta <laughs> and when she says she's not gonna show up somewhere she's gonna show up somewhere yeah. for the most part you realize now that the moment that you don't show up will be one of the most disappointing parts of my life. Let me go ahead and get this on record that I will not be at Wine and Dine. Just a little. 
but I won't. Yeah, you will. Will she fit in your car? Absolutely. Okay, well. And all her things. And her coat. Are you sure about that? I don't know about that. <laughs> Sometimes it takes like a 737 to get all of our stuff there, so. <laughs> Just packed entirely. Just put it all in the Disney bed. Just put, there you go. All right, it has been a lovely, lovely four miles with friends. Um, in the beating sun. The run went well. Not worried about pace. We're just uh, busy getting sweat in our eyes and looking at all of the multi-million dollar homes. Did y'all know some of those homes that I showed you back there? Celebrities live there. And there was a house named Zippity Doodah. And then there was one called Sand in My Boots. And then there was one called Hakuna Matata. And then there was one called Salt in My Eye. No, that's, that's my house. That's what I'll name mine. Sweat in my eye. It wouldn't be a run with Tara without some shopping. And we're running. <laughs> hey, look, you really got to try out your competitive speed walker going for the sale. I did, because we really this was not on sale, I will tell you that. But I walked there like it was. <laughs> get it, get it. All right, y'all, that wraps up week two of Dopey Training. What a week it was. Today was such a surprise, as you could probably tell by the lack of me talking during all of that footage. I was so shocked that Tara was here. I had no idea that she was going to be here. Um, and then we just got really into running and being a tourist down in that section of 30A. That's her old stopping ground. All right, to put a bow on everything that we've talked about this week, to wrap up everything about the plan, really the take home is you need to research and do your do your homework, do your due diligence, and find a plan that fits you best. Find the one that fits your your family's needs best, that fits your um, your end goal best, um, that fits where you are in life right now best. Sometimes when you've got a full time job, you can't commit to a four or five day a week training plan like the Hal Higdon plans, but you can commit to three to four times a week with the Galloway. So all in all, do your research, find what's best for you, and then stick with it. That's the biggest thing too. You have to stick with it. Every new training plan that you start is going to suck for the first several weeks, but you just have to get over that hump and you'll be, you'll be golden. So um, this week, again, has been a little bit different because I've been on vacation and whatnot, but um, it's been so much fun. And this has also been proof in the pudding, if you will, that you can go on vacation and still stick to your training plan as long as you prepare a little bit for it. So um, had a ton of fun running in our dopey colors today. So if you have not already, make sure that you are part of the Dare to Dopey group on Facebook. I will leave a link to that down below and I will be announcing our next long run um, theme for um, Dare to Dopey week three. I'll announce that sometime on Monday. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!